I'm going to show you a folded flying geese vlog. It's the four little blocks that look like geese flying in the middle of the quilt there. Very, very simple. I use this block all the time in most of my quilts and it's a perfect um, little block for beginners. You feel really special and very, very clever. And what you're going to do is you're going to take um, one rectangle and two squares. The rectangle is your geese, your goose, your geesey goose, and squares are always your background. Now you're going to fold your rectangle in half wrong sides together. Now that's the first mistake everyone makes. So it's the wrong sides together. Normally when we put things to sew things together, we put them right sides together, but this is wrong sides together. We're going to place it wrong sides together and place it onto the right side of a square and make sure the raw edge corners are all in one corner because there is a folded corner here that has to be has to stand alone so make sure your raw edges are all in one corner take another square and put that right sides together on top okay and what you're going to do is you're just going to sew one seam with a quarter of an inch. And the seam you're going to sew will be the where, the, where the fold is across the fold, okay? So I'm just going to pin that for you so it's nice and lovely. So you're going to, um, or actually I would always pin this way. I just pinned it to show you, but I would always pin that way. And you'd sew with a quarter inch seam on your sewing machine or use your masking tape, a quarter inch masking tape. And when you've sewn that, it looks like this, but just be aware that you must have that folded free. Don't sew down that fold side. And when you open it out, it looks unusual and you think, where are we going with this? But when you open your fold out, again, place it down like that, you get the most amazing little folded geese. And you're going to turn it over and you're going to press open the seam this time. So let's bring the iron in here. You're going to press open the seam. And it's even got a little arrow pointing to where you're going to join these seams. So you can see the little arrow there. That's where you will join it to another flying geese. And when you turn over, just tweak that a little bit. And there you are, have a perfect fo folded flying geese. Isn't that lovely? Now it's, it's, it's even more lovely than that because if you actually, these edges here are on the bias. So if you fold these edges back, they curl. So what happened when I finished um, the blocks on the quilt behind me, I, I rolled them back and I hand sewed them in place. So you had a nice shape, a nice curly shape. So you don't have to do that, but I'm just, I fancy doing that. You can either have your blocks um, sort of 3D or you can stitch these down or you can curl them. So they're very versatile, incredibly easy. Imagine how quick it would be to make a folded flying geese quilt.